quantum physics is most probably the most successful theory we have. But there are several reasons why it may not be the final word. And, that is exactly what I am going to discuss in this video. There are some fundamental beliefs that we have about our physical universe. But they are somehow in contradiction with each other, and this hints at the reason why quantum physics might not be the final theory. The first one is, quantum states at different times are related to each other by unitary transformations. This is like a postulate of quantum mechanics. The second one is that the universe is expanding. The third one is that the Planck scale is the smallest scale with possible degrees of freedom. These three fundamental beliefs are somehow in tension with each other. And I am going to show you this later on. Unitarity is particularly interesting for this video. It is almost a central feature in every quantum theory. This is not only true for quantum mechanics, but also in quantum field theory and extension of quantum field theories like string theory and loop quantum gravity. The concept of unitarity originates from the requirement of conservation of probability. This also has to do with the preservation of information in quantum systems. When the quantum systems undergo a transformation, unitarity makes sure that information gets preserved. In quantum mechanics, the evolution of the quantum state is described by the Schrödinger equation. We have one quantum state at the beginning and the final quantum state after applying the Schrödinger equation. This quantum evolution is described by the unitary transformation. That's the reason why unitary holds a great role in fundamental physics. While unitarity is extremely fundamental to quantum mechanics, it is challenged by the other two beliefs that we hold about our universe. Unitarity always maps from the Hilbert space to another Hilbert space with the same dimension. So if the unitarity is true, it is not possible to have the final space with more degrees of freedom than the beginning one. However, the universe is expanding. In an expanding universe, there are new degrees of freedom always emerging. Thus, our final Hilbert space will be larger than the beginning. This means that the unitarity condition is not fulfilled. I will present you cases where this notion of unitarity is challenged and might mean that quantum mechanics is insufficient to explain our reality. The first case where quantum physics suffers is in the vicinity of a black hole. Hawking posed the popular black hole information paradox which results and we try to combine quantum mechanics and general relativity. Hawking found that an isolated black hole would emit radiation which is independent of the initial state of the black hole. And he argued that radiation has a thermal spectrum. Thermal spectrum means that the radiation can carry no information, and information will be lost when the black hole evaporates. If so, this would allow physical information to permanently disappear in a black hole, allowing many physical states to evolve into the same state. However, this violates a core concept of quantum physics, which is unitarity. If information is truly lost as argued by Hawking, then quantum physics might be wrong. In the physics community, it is now generally believed that information is preserved in black hole evaporation. And unitarity is not violated. This means that the predictions of quantum mechanics are correct whereas Hawking's original argument that relied on general relativity must be corrected. But there is no general proof of that. In recent years, several extensions of the original paradox have been explored. So the information paradox still remains an active field of research within quantum gravity. This second case also has to do with unitarity. We explained before that quantum states in two different time slices are related by unitary transformations. If we look at the Big Bang, then the universe originated in the Big Bang from a state of nothing. There is no unitary transformation in physics that takes nothing to something. So what is the status of unitary at that time? This is obviously a very difficult problem with no trivial solution. Another strange thing about Big Bang singularity is that time and space originated at that point. However quantum mechanics has time and space encoded on it as variables. For example, 
the Schrodinger equation is a partial differential equation on space and time. If time and space originated at the Big Bang, was quantum mechanics invalid before the Big Bang? After the Big Bang, our universe started to expand. In an expanding universe, they allow new degrees of freedom to be added. But unitarity requires that we have the same degree of freedom from one time to another. This also hints that unitarity might not be the correct transformation. This third argument belongs to hidden variable theories and goes as back as to the birth of quantum mechanics at the beginning of the 20th century. Quantum mechanics is probabilistic in nature. When we perform some measurement, we only get the result as a probability. Hidden variable theories are attempts to avoid probabilistic nature by replacing it with a deterministic description of quantum mechanics. In fact, Einstein was one of the leaders of this thought. There are some severe limitations to this attempt though. Bell's theorem suggests that local hidden variables of certain types are impossible. So, we need a non-local theory. One well-known example of such non-local theory is the de Broglie-Bohm theory. If hidden variable theories are correct, the quantum mechanics we know should be modified. So, these are the three valid reasons why quantum mechanics might be wrong. It is still a most successful theory, but what good is a scientific theory if it cannot be falsified? <laughs>